Hi guys and welcome to my channel Carla Love Creativity. So today I thought I'd just do a little sit down talk through video of how I'm achieving like my goals and my dreams and ways in which that you can achieve yours. Um, so if you're interested in these types of videos please let me know down below in the comments and like if you have any video requests or anything like that as well please also let me know and comment down below and subscribe if you enjoy these videos and without further ado I'm just gonna start talking basically um, so this video is very much linked to um, new, new year's resolutions and making goals and setting yourself goals and like sort of aspirations that you want to get so at the beginning of the year in my um, bullet journal I set out like I think it was 18 before 2018 of like goals that I wanted to um, achieve before the year was up so a lot of the goals that I'm working on at the moment are coming from that as well as like specific like life goals as well so I think I'll just start by running through like what's on my 18 before 2018 page. Um, so my first one was um, to grow and develop my YouTube channel and obviously like I'm trying that, I'm putting out videos regularly um, and I'm kind of, I'm happy with how that's going, I'm happy with where it's going. I'm not looking for my YouTube channel to be a potential career for me at the moment anyway it's just my hobby a bit of time for me to get out what i want to do in my life and like some it it allows me to make sure that i allocate time to do what makes me happy which is making things and things like that as well as like working and everything like that um so that was number one um, so the ways I'm doing that, as I said, was I'm putting videos out regularly, I'm making sure to allocate that time to make sure that um, I'm staying like happy and um, getting everything that I want to out of my life, I guess. Um, the second one was start and stick to a savings routine and I feel like that one is especially for like future goals such as moving out and moving into my own house or my own flat or whatever things like that um, that is very much um, one of the stepping stones towards that and I feel like I started that I started that anyway because like obviously to say you need a job and so in September I started my apprenticeship and I feel like I've been like regularly saving quite well into my junior cash ISA and then when I turned 18 as well I also opened up a help to buy ISA which I then deposited all the junior cash ISA funds into specifically for my future so that is just locked away I know I can access it at any time now but that to me in my mind I view that as locked away so I won't go and touch it and then a few weeks ago I also set up a month, an easy access monthly saver and that was just so that I could, as well as putting the way money for um, like my future and big things like as I said like moving out and buying the house and that sort of stuff like that's way way down the line like I'm not close to that at the moment um, I can also set aside the money that I need to pay for bills each month um, and st then see that what I have left in my account is what I have to spend and decide whether or not I want to put more of that into savings or whether or not I want to save that like it keep that in my account because maybe there's some birthdays or something coming up that I need to buy presents for so that's sort of how I'm working towards my um, goal of financial freedom I guess it is because I don't like the idea of debt I never want to be in debt at the moment I don't have debts I as I said I've gone through the apprenticeship route as opposed to I'm um, going to university and get student loans because that just wasn't an attractive idea to me and yeah the number three was start developing ideas to write a storybook and that was one of 
like the key key things that I wanted to do this year was I wanted to um, write and illustrate my own children's book and up until probably about a month ago I had absolutely no idea like what to write this story book on because if you think about books and you think about children's books especially there is such a wide range of topics and things like you could do it as the characters being human you could do it as the characters being animals like there's such a wide variety of like ways you could go i just had absolutely no idea where to start and then about a month ago it suddenly went ding 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 in my head if you like um, and I decided to start writing a book, a storybook, loosely, um, when I say loosely it's quite, eh. let's go with loosely, loosely like related to and inspired by the routine at the nursery that I work at and this was not only just for me as like an experience of wanting to write a book as well but I also really wanted to do this so that at the end of this um, like scholastic year when um, my apprenticeship is over and I leave I wanted to give that as something back in a way and that was my way of doing it accomplishing two goals at the same time of one writing a storybook um, for me and then two gifting that as a present back to the nursery that I work at at the moment just because they have been so amazing and it is such a lovely place to work and I'm so thankful that I got that opportunity um, so yeah as I say to start achieving that goals I had to first think about what it was I wanted to write and how I wanted to write it and then I just sort of like rolled with it from there I felt that um, quite a lot of the really good children's books are the ones that had rhymes in them just because it flows better, it keeps the children, it's got a beat so that children who prefer listening to things you can go like, like tap to the beat of it, it's got like a rhythm to it like a song, um, just as like an added dimension to it um, and then so I sort of laid it out a bit like a poem, running through the routine, reading like and initially I, it was just like random lines about the routine that rhymed, that flowed well, which come to me in the randomest of places like if I was driving somewhere or like making some food or something and so slowly I just started to write things down in the notes on my phone and then like, I sat down and tried to fill in all the gaps um, just writing things whenever I had time on my phone notes and then I, until I like finished my story and I was happy with how it flowed and everything. And then I went and bought myself a watercolour pad, which is this guy right here. Um, and I've actually divided up all the pages on here um, so that each page has um, like two pages like that. And I've, what I've done is I've written the, each line that I want on each page above. Um, and this is just so I can start to illustrate it. Um, I am going to watercolour it, that's why I got a watercolour pad. So it's just got, I don't know if the camera's picking up any of that, some of the rough illustrations that I just need to go over just so that I've got an idea in my head of a map of how I want it to look. So that's currently what I'm doing. I'm just illustrating it. Um, the next steps are obviously to finish my drawings, start the watercolour ring of it and then once I'm finished with those designs I'll um, take it to be scanned in and then do any computerised editing if I need to before uploading it to a book, um, like a book, um, what's it called, like a, I don't know, like where you put a book together, a programme, an editing programme I guess. Um, so that I can put the book together the way I want it before I send it off to be published and so that is what I'm going to do with this um, so I'm really happy about this because up until like a month ago as I said this just wasn't going to be a realistic goal for me this year despite like me really wanting to do it and it's something to like that I was really passionate about so that was number three 
Number four was continuous healthy eating and meal prepping. And I have to say, I've completely failed on that. I'd say I do eat healthy anyway, but meal prepping I just have not done. But, and there is a big but, and this, this but relates to quite a few of the other ones actually. Um, in September, because my apprenticeship is ending, I have a new job and this new job that I've got comes with accommodation of my own which means that I have to I'm gonna have to do my own shopping which means but because I'm not living at home because like I don't have to sort of abide by what my parents want to eat and cook and that I'm hoping that I can get into a routine of meal prepping and eating healthily as well but sort of being able to map out what I'm eating and how much I'm eating as well. So, number five is visit family and friends. And again, I'd say I haven't so much visited them. They've like come to me and I saw a lot of my family and friends for my 18th, which was absolutely lovely. And I'd say I'm sort of putting a bit more effort into arranging time to see my friends this year because um, obviously we've all sort of done separate things um, so it's just finding the time to meet up with them really number six is very similar to the meal prepping one and that is try vegetarian vegan and gluten free foods just out of interest just to see what they're like just some variety and again I feel like this is something that I can do when I know I've got 100% control about what I eat and what I buy and what's in the fridge and that. Um, number seven is start and stick to a skincare routine. I feel like I this is one of the things that I work on quite a lot like I'll start a routine I'll stick to it for like a good few months and then maybe we'll go to an event or something and I'll leave my makeup on like and just end up falling asleep and I won't take it off or whatever or won't put a face mask on or something like that and then it just falls apart from there. I feel like I'm the type of person that if I don't do it absolutely every day, like even one day, it just falls apart. So I am trying to sort of get back into that. And um, yeah, it's just a case of making sure that I do it all the time consistently. Um, number eight is set aside time to keep up with my bullet journal every day. And I feel this is one of the things I'm actually really good at. And the sole reason I'm really good at keeping up to date with my bullet journal and making sure that everything's put in there that needs to be and that I'm allocating time to do things that I need to every day is simply because if I don't put things in this bullet journal, if I don't write down what I need to do, I forget. And it goes clear out of my mind until like a few days later and I'm like, oh, whoops. I was meant to do that two days ago and I didn't and then suddenly my life starts falling apart because I forget things and it's just easier to have them all written down in one place so that I know when I get home from work I look in my bullet journal I'm like oh I need to do that and bam it's done I can cross it off you get the satisfaction of knowing that you've done it you get the satisfaction of being able to cross it off your tick list and at the end of the day when you feel like you've done everything you know 100% in your mind that you have there's not something that you're forgetting which just gives you that peace of mind I feel or it gives me that peace of mind anyway um, so I really rely on this lovely book so much so that there's literally only like two pages left in it so I will be doing a video soon on moving into a new bullet journal and what I'm going to take across from this one into my new one and things that I've learned basically um, so number nine is organise and declutter my room. Again, this isn't one that I've done too well on. Um, I've made a lot of attempts to start doing it and then haven't quite finished it just because I've been really busy with things lately. But again, I feel like by the end of the year that's going to have to have been done anyway because obviously I'm moving out, I'm going to need to take my stuff with me and to do that I need to pack it all up so that's one of the things that I'm just going to have to do at some point because I'll have to find the time to move out like that's going to have to happen it's inev inevitable I can't speak it's inevitable um, 
just at this point in time I'm busy with work, I'm busy with finishing my coursework to be qualified, I'm busy with like all the extra little babysitting things and nanny jobs that I'm doing just so that I've got that little bit extra to afford to buy like all the things that I'm going to need for moving out. Um, which is going to be another video as well sometime soon. I am hoping to do a homeware haul. Um, see, there's just so much. Um, so yeah, in terms of organising and decluttering, that's, I guess, working. Um, number 10 was buy more secondhand stuff. Um, so I have done a few um, up cycles this year off secondhand furniture and the most recent one was my chest of drawers um, so I'll try and link that down below as well um, I feel again this is another thing that's going to be a lot more apparent when I move out because I'm I know for definite my table and chairs is coming second hand um, and things like that I'm, just, I'm not looking to spend awful amounts of money a lot of it's going to be second hand so I feel like that, if it's not even already achieved, which I think it probably is, it definitely will be by the end of the year. Um, number 11 was visit new places. So um, I don't really know where I've been new this year. I wouldn't say I've been that into that different, many different places, but my new job is in a new place, uh, like a completely different place. I have been to it before, like the nearest town before. I don't know it very well, so it's going to be a whole new learning curve that. Um, I went up to see my sister again this a few weeks ago, um, which I haven't done since I was like really young. So that was like technically a new old place, if that makes any sense, because I hadn't seen it like being this age in a in like years and years and years so that was nice um other than that i am hoping to travel a bit more um and yeah just see where life takes me really um number 12 was advance and develop career opportunities and i feel like i'm repeating myself over and over again because this new job is literally fitting into so many of these goals that I set out at the beginning of the year before I even knew whether or not there'd be op what the opportunities would be and things like that. I set out these goals and they are quite a lot of them being met by the one thing being that I have a new job and I've got this new opportunity, this new like thing a uh, new like a flat that comes with it like I literally could not have dreamed of anything more and I'm getting it and I do feel really lucky for it and I'm so glad about it um, number 13 is set regular targets and stick to them and I feel like I do do this I feel like there's these are my 18 before 2018 and from that I split into three main goals which were grow and develop my YouTube channel, write a children's book and advance and develop my career opportunities and those were my ultimate ultimate goals because at the end of the day they all draw back to one like monumental goal which is literally to have a house so that I can have a family when I'm older and support that family like not be in any like financial difficulty I want to be financially stable and I want to have those things um, and so all of that is working towards that really and um, yeah so the regular targets uh, setting things I do like for the storybook my first target was literally to figure out what it was I wanted to write about then it was like, what style do I want it? How do I want to write it? I needed to complete writing like the words for it. And then the next target, which I'm working on at the moment is to illustrate it and complete the illustration. Um, and these are all targets that have got a deadline date because I need to have done this before the end of July really, uh, because that's when my current job really ends. Ooh. 
Um, number 14 is choose a handful of blogs and actively follow them. And I am so, 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 so bad at this. Like, there's blogs that I'll find on Pinterest and I'll read like a few of their posts, but I'm not ever actively following them. And I just feel like it's something that I should, I'd probably really enjoy. Like, I get a mo monthly magazine subscription and I really enjoy like opening my craft magazine, seeing what things are like um, in this month and things like that. And I'd feel like if I subscribed, like, or uh, not even subscribed, just actively followed a blog, I'd feel like that every time a new post was uploaded, like I got a new magazine, a new something to like ponder or learn or a new DIY to think about, things like that. Um, so I do need to work on that one. Um, then number 15 is make more time for my own personal development. Um, that one's a little bit iffy, like I feel like I do, I feel like I'm developing as a person anyway. Um, I do make sure that a lot of my time, I, my free time, like I will spend doing my YouTube and things like that, but I like to get that out of the way so that at weekends I can just spend time with like my boyfriend and just chill so that I can be the person that I want to be. We can both do hobbies and things like that that leads to our own personal development and how we're growing and the future opportunities that we might have but still have that time together as well. Um, number 16 is to drink more water and I looked at this like the other week I was like I'm really bad at that and that was basically why I did my um, recent video on like a personalised water bottle sort of thing um, and I literally spray painted on it drink up purposefully to just tell you to drink Georgia drink so yeah number 17 was keep up to date with coursework and I feel like I'm really good at that like I'm actively like on target for my coursework and a bit of a hiccup where it just wasn't being marked but that wasn't my fault I was still uploading stuff I was still completing coursework um, and so yeah I'm really happy with where I am with my coursework I feel like I'm on track definitely and then number 18 was keep up to date logging food on my Fitbit which has utterly utterly failed and that is the end of that like literally so bad at it um, I don't feel though at the moment though it's quite as important as I felt it was at the beginning of the year like I feel like that's changed for me like I'm not that interested in that anymore um, I just want to be happy and healthy and I feel like those are the more important things so that was um, just a little video well it wasn't that little it's quite long a video on how I'm achieving my goals um, I really hope that you found it interesting um, let me know in the comments if you share any of these goals, if these are the things that you're looking for in your life and how you're achieving them. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!